so for today's video I am back and I'm going to be doing makeup products that you need to try. Now before I get into this video I'm so sorry for my voice, I'm so ill, literally my makeup went so bad today because I just don't have much energy at all so I'm so sorry about that. I do feel really ill and really croaky and I wasn't really in the mood to film the video I wanted to film because I want to put my full on effort into it. So today I'm going to be doing a sit down chatty video to you guys and telling you guys my favourite ever makeup products. I do apologise for how I look as well, I know my makeup looks absolutely awful today and I just look ill but there's no way that I'm missing an upload for you guys no matter what so of course I still wanted to film. But yeah, other than that, I really hope you enjoy the video and let's just get started. First makeup product, I've literally spoken about so many times but I know how many of you guys love it and it is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now honestly, nothing comes close to this foundation. This is my holy grail foundation. This is a brand new bottle that I had to buy like last week I think because my other one is literally like ran out and I have definitely gone through at least five bottles of this in the past year. It's really long lasting but I need a lot of coverage because I have quite a few spots at the moment. So I use like normally like two pumps per foundation day if that makes any sense. But this retails for £9.99 and apparently the new L'Oreal Infallible Foundation is really good. I've bought it but I haven't managed to try it yet so I will let you guys know about that but this one is my absolute favourite and I would most definitely recommend it. It's good for oily skin and it's good for dry skin. I feel like it's better for dry skin because my oil does still seep through throughout the day but this is really good and dewy to blend on oily skin so I feel like it's a bit of a mixture but I really like this and I have super oily skin and it works great. The next thing is a concealer. Now I think I've shown this in a haul but I haven't like said my opinions on it and it's the NYX Full Coverage Concealer and it's just in this little pot like this. Mine is in the shade number three which is light and I feel like I should have got number one. I feel like this is still a bit too dark for me but I use this to carve out my eyebrows. I don't actually use it for like a coverage concealer because I prefer using like the NARS Creamy Concealer or Collection. But I use this to carve out my eyebrows with and I feel like it works really well. Like it's really dewy, it just kind of slides around them on a little Real Techniques detailer brush and I really like it. I think this retails for about £5.50 and you can get it from Boots or online or Amazon probably. So yeah, I really, really enjoy this and I definitely recommend it. The next product I'm absolutely obsessed with and I recently bought it actually like, when did I buy it? like last week yeah last week I bought this and it is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder so I tried this when I went down to Saffron's and it was incredible I've never tried anything like it honestly my skin is so oily and none of my oil came through it was like a revelation had happened like it was genuinely the best thing ever so I was like okay you know what Anastasia just buy it it was £29 but it is genuinely incredible it is translucent but I think it does give a bit of coverage and to be honest for £29 I feel like you get a lot of product in the pot and the pot feels very expensive it doesn't feel like cheap and plasticky it's like not heavy but like it is for a powder so like I think that's really good obviously the price tag isn't what we want it to necessarily be but if you guys are looking on like spending a little bit more on a really good powder if you do have oily skin then I would definitely recommend this to bake with. The next thing I've actually never spoken about in my videos before and I don't know why because I'm obsessed I have it on the end of my nose here and it is the Sleek Makeup Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. It's just this gorgeous gold palette and then when you open it it's got four gorgeous highlighters in it two of them are cream two of them are powder and genuinely I absolutely love this it was £10 and I just think it was such a cute little compact to have like the packaging feels quite light and airy fairy which is nice but the product is so beautiful inside like I said I have it on my nose today and I am just obsessed with it it's so beautiful I have it here but I don't know how well you can see that but here is the gold shade and I'm like the next product I would recommend is now this little one here and this is the Ardell medium brown brow pomade and this is what I use to fill in my eyebrows that was my phone so so many people ask what I use to fill in my eyebrows and it's this and I just use this with a Lily England um, brow brush and it's so good Ardell gave me this when I was at Beautycon and you could see how much I've used out of the pot but I am so going to rebuy this like, I genuinely don't know what I would use on my eyebrows if I didn't have this. I think it's only £5 and it's a really good dupe for the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia because I have that as well and I've compared them and I actually think I prefer this but yeah I just really like it so I would recommend this if you're looking for a good eyebrow product that was starting out because I only started filling my eyebrows in less than like four or five months ago so I got this. Next up are mascaras. Now I bloody love mascaras. Absolutely love them. Like my eyelashes are looking a bit today because I'm just really not having a good day but 
nevertheless, we're going to talk about mascaras. So these two are my holy grail. These are the Maybelline Lash Sensational ones. This one is a luscious oil blend and this one's just the usual one. Now this is very, very blackening, if that's a word. It makes your eyelashes look so black and so thick and then I just use this one to separate out. I just really like it and I like how the packaging complements Oops. Compliments each other. I just think that's really nice and because I like aesthetically pleasing things that really makes me happy But yeah, I just literally love these so much and I would 100% recommend them also for Maybelline I have the falsies push-up drama and I just really like this. This is really good I rediscovered this about a month ago and the brush isn't actually like it doesn't look that amazing But it genuinely is I'm actually losing eyelashes on my eyes, which is a bit weird and It's a bit worrying, but this kind of makes it look like I are uh, I'm I, I, this kind of makes it look like I'm not losing them, even though I am, but it just separates them out and it looks so nice and fluttery. So if you're looking for a new mascara, this one or the Lash Sensational. Eyeshadow palettes. Now, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This is my absolute go-to. I genuinely don't know what other palette I would use if I didn't have this now. It has such a nice array of nudes, but then like perfect autumn-y, spring, summer colours. And I'm just like... This is me in a palette. I look at it and it makes me so happy just like staring at it. I don't know, I just love it. There's so many matte shades and there's also a few shimmery ones which is nice. And you of course get a little mirror with it as well which is nice. And I just like the packaging and everything about it. It's just so me. And the colours are, if anything, too pigmented. Like that's weird, like you're saying all oh, the colours are too pigmented but they are so pigmented. Like genuinely. You dab your brush in once, that's enough. But that's a good thing because then you won't need to like rebuy the palette if anything and I feel like every colour I would use like the same so like I don't just like oh I hate that one but I love that one so when I want to rebuy it I won't just want to rebuy one colour I want to rebuy all of them so I think that's a really good thing as well but yeah I just absolutely love this and would definitely definitely recommend it finally I have two lip products to talk about to you guys the first one is from Colourpop now this isn't as easy to get hold of they do ship to the UK but you do get a customs charge and it can be fairly expensive but I just wanted to talk to you guys about it anyway just in case you are able to get hold of it this is the Colourpop liquid lipstick in the shade trap and I think this is absolutely gorgeous like genuinely I'm full on in love with this and I don't know what I would do without it like this is gorgeous I don't have it on today I've got the other one that I'm going to show you on today but this I think is about five pounds it's actually not the lipstick that's expensive it's the shipping and that's so annoying but if you can get hold of these these are so long lasting so velvety and so soft and I just absolutely love it so I would definitely recommend them and finally I have some lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics now you can get these on Beauty Bay I believe they retail for around 11 pounds they are smaller than Colourpop but they are amazing. I have the shade on Skinny Dip at the moment and I just think it's gorgeous. It's such a beautiful neutral colour and I feel like it's perfect for this time of year. They're really soft, they're really velvety, again like the Colourpop ones and they last all day as well. My lips are quite cracked today just because I really don't feel well but normally they don't crack up at all. So I would definitely recommend this. This shade and the shade Ecstasy are my two favourites. Ecstasy is more of like a nudie purple but I love that too. So that is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again I'm sorry it wasn't anything really bubbly and really happy I just feel so ill today but I have some amazing content coming for you guys in the next weeks I've got so many good ideas and now that I'm on Easter holiday I can film them for you so I know that you guys will be super excited about that if you didn't see last week's video I will link it down below it was what beauty gurus are like in real life and other than that I really hope you enjoyed the video smash a huge thumbs up if you did let's see if we can smash 7,000 likes and I will see you next Sunday at 10am for a brand new video I love you bye Thank <laughs> you.